What's up guys, hope you all are doing well. So I just want to do a quick video on this. I, I couldn't not do this video. This thing is fantastic. So uh, Hard Ops just released this brand new cloth simulation effect that um, it basically makes the cloth modifier usable because <laughs> I never touched cloth before. It was so annoying. But uh, check this out. See this little puffy thing I made? I made this in like 10 seconds, if that. And um, it's awesome because on any hard surface model, you can get this type of like sci-fi, uh, clothy, cushion, ventilation type effect that you might see in like, I don't know, a sci-fi corridor or something. Anyways, enough chit chat. Let me show you how to do it. So um, yeah, basically what you do, I'm just going to do it on this example. Uh, this is a piece I made a few weeks back. I have a tutorial series on this, by the way, if you want to watch it. But okay, check this out. This is the after I did the cloth. This is the before. It's like night and day. It just makes it pop a bit more, look more fun. Okay, so it's really easy to use. Let me show you. What I'm going to do is just hop in here. Uh, just take whatever part of, of your model that you want to do this effect on. So I'm going to take, in this case, this area. Let me go into face mode, select linked. And basically what you do is you make a duplicate. I'm just going to do this with the shift click curve extract feature to duplicate and separate. And then what we're going to do is simply I don't know, we're probably going to need a bit more resolution on here. So I'm going to drop a subsurf with the one count. That should be enough. That should be enough to work with, I believe. Okay. So what we do is we go to the Q menu in Hard Ops, add modifier, and then cloth. And uh, what you have to do, there's a little help menu down here. Basically, you can click the play button right here, or you can just press the S key. I prefer the S key. It's a bit quicker. And what, all you have to do to like do any sort of changes here, it's super easy to use. You go to the shrink option and you can scroll down to make it bigger. And I know it looks bad right now, we'll fix it in a second, it's just because we need another subsurf level and it's a bit too big. And you can also bring in the shrinking factor so I can get like a really, really tiny type of simulation or a really big one like this. But anyways, it's really easy to use because you just go in here, you scroll, figure out a good area you like, maybe like right here for me right here we can also adjust the pressure if we want to kind of bring it out make it like um think of a super inflated balloon versus one that has a little bit of air coming out of it that's kind of what the pressure is doing here and you can you know bring that to wherever you want and the time span i haven't messed with that too much i think it's just based off of the um the animation settings on here so you really only need to deal with the pressure and shrink options so basically you just find the area you like you can also pan around there is no harm no foul on that and then what you do is you just um, basically you can click apply, click the check mark. It's going to apply the cloth modifier. So now it's actually geo here. Then I can run like another subsurf on this guy, maybe like one or two, make it actually uh, creasy and realistic looking. And literally you can do this on any model you want in like 10 seconds of trying to deal with this cloth and vanilla blender. Like no thanks. It was just way too complex. But thanks to Team C for dealing with this and making it easier. Then what I can do is just hop in here and, you know, mirror it across or something. And there we go. Now my model looks like 10 times better. You don't need Marvelous Designer. You don't need any complex cloth simulations. Five seconds and you're done. So I'll link uh, Jerry's update log in the description if you want to see some more of the new Hard Ops updates. This is just one of my personal favorites here, um, including the Radial Array tool, which I won't discuss now. But lots of cool features in the new version you should definitely take a look at. And then if I just hop into cycles, you're going to see this thing. I was like mind blown when I went into cycles on this one and, and saw it. Just look at this. It's, it's amazing. And the best thing about it is all these creases and wrinkles reflect light in all sorts of different directions and make this more natural uh, sci-fi type of look to it. And you can make like whatever material you want, make like a fabric material, rubber, really whatever you want. And this thing is just looking awesome. So quick video, I, um, I, I couldn't not make a video on this, this is just too powerful. Usually I don't make videos on the update logs because you can just watch those, but this is probably one of my favorite features now. So link in the description for Hard Ops as always, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have fun with this new feature, and I'll see you in the next video.